Okay, so we'll uh, start with the session now, and uh, this session is uh, we'll continue from where we left um, the last session. We we did B class submitting. Now we'll move towards the last part of submitting, which is um, doing the submitting for A class networks, right? So again, the basics will uh, remain the same. Uh, the questions that we'll solve remain the same. And since yesterday in B class we did uh, also another kind of submitting questions, another category of submitting questions, in which we uh, did uh, did those kind of questions where uh, more than eight bits have been converted from zero to one, and uh, uh, we have crossed the octet boundary over to the next octet. So they are little little bit different from uh, the questions where we only deal with one bit. Okay. Or uh, deal with only one octet. So now we, we are moving towards A class now. Do this A class submitting. So now when I when I talk about A class submitting, right? So I am essentially talking about addresses which have their first octet value. Uh, from 1 to 126. So if I say that I want to you know, write an A class network, I'll write a network 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 slash. Now, uh, 8 is by default, right? 8 is a subnet mask that is the default for A class address. And I'll again uh, continue with the process of writing the submit mask in all possible ways. So I have uh, this slash 8 being written as 255.0.0.0. And then I also can write this in the binary format. It is 8 ones followed by these 24 zeros. Right? So remember, these are not three zeros. These are total 24 zeros. Right, followed by this will be again a set of 800. This is how my subnet mask will be written. Now, when I do this, when I you know uh, submit this this network into smaller networks, right? So what will I do? I'll possibly you know uh, increase the value of the subnet mask. So I'll I'll do this question wherein the subnet mask value has changed from slash eight to now slash as a twelve. Okay. When this value is increased from slash eight to slash twelve, right? What will I get? I'll get uh, this submit mask as slash 12 will be written as 255 right dot 240 right dot zero dot zero right and if you convert this into binary again this will be written as 12 ones so eight ones are already there so I add another four to the second octet this is how it will be written and rest of the four will be zero and the remaining two octets will be all zeros so this is this is a conversion now now if you see the change uh, here so it has changed from eight to twelve obviously when I change this from eight to twelve uh, the subnet mask value will be submitted into some number of networks and then uh, host uh, per network will be there and all. So we'll calculate the same uh, four or five questions according to now this question. Okay. So this is uh, fairly simple. This is not a difficult question because this still has uh, only one octet uh, which is changing. So which is the octet which is changing? The octet which is changing is this one, the second octet, which was earlier all zeros. Now the second octet is this one. Okay, so I move on to this question now. I want to uh, wrap this out.
so my first question uh, always as always is uh, number of networks there right so that's in what is my number of networks that i have continue using this paint uh, so number of networks that i have is uh, i'll continue towards that i'll write the question again 10 12 is our question so obviously i wrote, I wrote this uh, this submit mask with uh, in all the possible ways so it was written as Submit mask is written, and the default I already told you is something else. So uh, the first question now is, what is number? That we have borrowed, right? Again, uh, we have. We submit a, a class network using slash twelve submit mask. The mask network will be sixteen that we get. Next will be post per submits. Minus two. Minus two is uh, two raised to the n uh, is in bracket and minus two, so it will be two raised to the power. The rest of the zeros that are there. So remember, I have to count all the zeros that are left out. So the four zeros are here. Rest of the zeros are there. Total, total of sixteen zeros both. So I have two raised to the twenty. So two raised to the twenty minus two is again a big number. We will not calculate that. So this uh, we will leave it as it is. And we will move on to the simple question, which is. Uh, That I want to find submit addresses for. Top side here is. The value of interesting object, which in our case is two forty as of now, if you see, this is this is an interesting object we have. Right, which I am marking as a point. Let's see, what is my interesting object? So my interesting object is this one, because this is the object which is changing from slash eight. So I'll always remember the definition of interesting object. What was that? It was any object which is changing in comparison to the default submit mask. So 256 minus uh, 240. Also have to write for which octet uh, this block size is possible. So following the same uh, method, we will write the subnet addresses. So ten dot zero. I have to add sixteen to it, right? Because that's the block size that I have. That octet is uh, that block size is of second octet. So keep on adding sixteen. Similarly, I'll go on. After 
or I get to 240. I'll uh, when I add 16 more, I'll get 10.256. Uh, I cannot change that now. Now remember uh, when we were doing the questions last time, when we were doing this submit addresses for B class, there was there was a category of questions where even after this uh, one octet was full, I moved on to the left hand side octet. Right? That was because we had two block sizes. Right? If the block size is only one right there is only one block size that i have as it as is the case now i'll not move towards the left hand side of it if the right hand side is filled i'll only use the octet while calculating this subnet address only while calculating this subnet address the third part i'll only move towards uh, the left left most uh, left hand side octet if the right hand side octet is full only if i have the relevant block size available if the block size is only there i'm using only one block so i'll not move out so uh, i'll only do the changes on the third uh, the second octet not any other octet. all right so I, I hope this is clear so next next is uh, next part is and broadcast as for any of the networks here, okay? <clears throat> Remember how many hosts per submit we have? We have 2 rest of 20 minus 0. So obviously I cannot be writing all the hosts. So I'll only write a few hosts so that you know how the hosts uh, are calculated. Right, so it is 10 for 16.0.0. So what is the first host that I have? I always obtain it by adding 1 to it, right? And whenever I add 1, I told you this will be added to the right hand side, not anywhere else. The right most of them. So this is my first valid host. So don't make uh, the mistake of um, adding 1 to the second or third octet or something. It will always be added on the right hand side. Okay. First valid host. And then, then again add one to it. I keep on at ten dot sixteen. I'll move on till a point where I start adding ones. You know, sixteen dot zero dot two five. Right, right. Once I get that and I add one to it, what will happen? This object, this fourth object, will be filled. Right, this fourth object will be filled, so I cannot be adding 256 here. The moment I add one over here, I'll get to another number. All right. So this is important point. How how we are moving from the fourth object to third object. I am essentially adding one only as of now. Okay. Again, I add one to it. When I add one to it, I have 10 dot 16 dot again uh, one dot one here. Right. So similarly, I'll have. Two and I'll keep on adding this. I'll reach this point where I have fixed it. And when I add one again to it, I'll get I'll get to a point where I got zero, right? So if you see the, the if you see the third octet now, it is changing from zero to one and two. Whenever the fourth octet is full, I'm moving my uh, you know I'm adding something some. I'm adding one to my third octet, right? And after that, we have. Uh, uh, if you, if you uh, just stretch this a little bit further, uh, once I have this third octet also full, right? I'll have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and ten. It will go on till. 255 right so I'll, I'll, I'll eventually get a number 10.16.255.235 once I get that right I'll add one more to it right so what will happen so I'll add I'll add one to the you know I'll, I'll write this from the right hand side now okay I'll get this number 10.17.000 because I'll add, I am still adding add, uh, 1 to the right hand side. When I add 1 to the right hand side, this will become 0, the fourth octet. So I'll add, um, I'll carry 1 to the left hand, left hand octet. Again, it is 250 only. Again, this will become 0 and it will move towards the second octet, which will become 17, right? So I have moved from 16 to 17 now. 
right similarly right when i you know again do the, the immediate next when i add, again add one it will be dot 17 dot zero dot one and this uh, first of all again the fourth octet will be filled uh, uh, with 255 values after that this the second octet will change once the second octet will also be filled eventually right then again it will move to the first octet and it will become 10.18.0.0 similarly 10.19.0.0 this will go until i do not reach this next subnet address next subnet address is which one okay let me show you this next subnet address is this one right 32 what is the immediate next subnet address after 16 this is 32 as well the maximum value that i'll touch is 10.32.0.0 let's see how do we go about this okay so this is this is the final value that i have 10.32.0.0 so if i subtract one from here i'll get the last value of this 10.16.0.0 series right so i'll subtract one more value here so uh, value I will get is 10.31.255.255 this is the last value of this uh, you can say series of 10 uh, which, which we are calculating it for with the network which I am taking into consideration is 10.16.0.0 right so I have this broadcast address and then I move again here so I subtract one more from this 10.31. Remember, I'll keep on subtracting one also from the rightmost octet. I'll not subtract one from the third or second octet, right? This is again a blunder a lot of people do. I don't know how they arrive at these kind of answers. But you know, again, traps which people fall into when doing submit. Last valid was this. Right, so I'll I'll find my range now. But what is my range? You can see this. Right, my range is from 10.16.0.1 till 10.31.255.254. So you have to write this range whenever you are asked a question because my question is what is the valid host range? So what is the valid host range for a network 10.16.0.0? The question is this because this was what I was calculating it for, right? I was calculating it for this particular question, this one, th this particular network. Uh, we have one question. Just wait. Uh, I'll just finish it. So uh, I'll have this. Uh, uh, this range, the range for this network is. Uh, This is my range and 10.31.255.255 is my broadcast and similarly we can calculate uh, you know hosts and broadcast just for different uh, can say networks that I have. I, I can calculate it also for 10.32.0.0. I can also calculate it for 10.48.0.0. So whatever networks you have we can calculate it. So this is this is how you calculate uh, the uh, network addresses and valid host range and broadcast addresses and all the parts of questions for uh, for uh, A class subnet questions which which almost will fall into this category uh, from slash 9 for A class till slash 15 right or rather slash 16 okay so the questions will be solved like this this is that category of questions okay but once you move from slash 16 to slash 17 the things will start changing i'll do the next questions uh, of value which is changing from second to third octet also in the next section okay so now i can take your questions uh, just hold on yeah so we move on to the next uh, part of questions right uh, again uh, as i told you we'll, we'll move on to the questions which will give us uh, the way to calculate those questions in subnetting right okay so we'll um, do those parts will which will give, give us a way to calculate the questions from slash 17 
till slash 24 right so these these sort of questions for a class uh, i'm doing it for a class networks now so uh, i'll continue with this now so i'll write again a class network 10.0.0.0 uh, so default is slash 8 right i'll keep on writing these values once again because reducing the errors so <clears throat> 255.0.0.0 is uh, my expanded notation for subnet mask and i'll write this in binary also That uh, this is my default subnet mask. This, this this does not change. Okay, this remains the same. And uh, I I'll write now something. So I'll I'll change this slash eight. I want to calculate this for uh, a network which is dot zero dot zero dot zero slash some some value more than sixteen. So I'll take slash twenty one now. Okay. So when I take slash 21, my value that I'm getting is 255 dot. I'll tell you how to calculate that. You already know this at this stage, okay? This is the, these are the values that I have. So when I when I calculate this, uh, when I convert this binary to decimal, I'll get this uh, submit mass 248, right? So if you can see now, again I need to draw the comparison. This uh, I need to compare how, how why I'm doing this A class uh, submitting question uh, when I've already done one of the questions. This is because I've crossed the octet boundary. I have converted all these. Uh, I converted all these zeros, right? Finished converting this, moved on to the next object, and I've started converting these zeros also, right? This is what I've done till now. So I've converted these eight and five more, these zeros into ones. That that's how I'm getting this. These are the bits that I have touched, which I'm marking, right? So since I have moved from this entire one octet, I have carried forward and next uh, I moved to the next octet. That is why these sums, so these these, these uh, numericals are changing a little bit. That's why I am doing this specifically now. This question, which is um, asking me to calculate something from slash 17 to slash 24, some kind of uh, subnet mask value, which lies in this range. Okay. So I'll continue towards those questions now. So the first question is number of M is equal to uh, again I have to see how many number of ones I have converted so I know how many number of ones I have converted so my value now is slash 21 the earlier value was slash 8 so 21 minus 8 is how much so if you see how many values I have touched 8 plus 5 8 plus 5 is 13 right so I have 2 raised to power 13 networks and when I write 2 raised to 13, it's again easy to help. 2 raised to 10 is 1024, 2 raised to 11 is 204, and 2 raised to 12 is 4096, and 2 raised to 13 is 8192. So, this is what the value is. If you don't need to want to calculate, you can leave this value as it is. There's no point calculating bigger values in these kind of questions. Subnets or number of hosts. In every subnet, how many hosts we are getting? 2 raised to power. Again, minus 2. That's why how many zeros are remaining there, which are remaining there? So there are 8 plus 3 from this subnet, right? 8 plus 3 equal to 11. So I have. Minus two is that right? And minus two is two zero. I have to subtract two from the number that I'm getting. I have to subtract two. That's very important. So you cannot be writing two is for eleven only. Okay. 
Next, I move on to the important part here, which is about calculating block size and you know, I'll calculate block size. I'll, I want to know what are the how many submits we have as of now. Submits are 2 raised to 13, so I cannot be writing all the submits, I will only write how the submits are built. So, block size will be what the interesting and the interesting octet are calculated based on what is changing from my default submit mask to the current submit mask. When I compare this, there are two octets actually which are changing. There is second octet which is changing from 0 to 255 and there is third octet which is changing from 0 to 248, right? So I'll have two block sizes. The first block size will be equal to 2 to the the reason we are doing it again this question other block size is 256 my that is equal to 8 but of it so now now you know third of it and then move towards the second write the um, base value which is uh, 10.0.0.0 which is my actual subnet address and now I'll add the block size to it. What is the block size which I'll add? So the rule is that when I have more than one block size, I have two block sizes or three block sizes. Okay. So what, what will I do is I'll add the larger value first, right? So I'll add eight first, but on which octet will I add it? Because it is it, this eight belongs to third octet. The block size of eight belongs to third octet. So I'll add eight to the third. It is 10.0.8.0. It is not 10.8.0.0. .0 okay. I'll keep on adding 8 to it. Right. I'll keep on adding this value. This way, I'll keep on obtaining this. Addresses. Right. So uh, at one point, I'll reach 10.0.248.0. Okay. So this is what Once I reach here, right, and I again. It, Add 8 to it. What is the value that I'll get? 10.0.256.0. I cannot write that value, right? In third octet, I cannot be writing 256. So then I'll move to the second octet. And why I'm moving now to the second octet is because I have the block size of 1 in the second octet. So I'll write it as 10. And I'll again add 8 to it. So what will I get? remember you don't have to mess up here right you have to continuously add 8 to the third octet till you reach a point where you'll get some some value like 248 in my case here and once you get 8 add, add 8 to it more right you'll get an invalid value here then you push that value to the second octet right and then you'll get 10.1.0.0 and continue adding 8 will keep on repeating this process right and I'll, I'll get this 10.1.24.0 and it will get the multiplication table of 8 going and then if I add 8 more to it I'll get to this point where it And uh, the, see, see this now. I am uh, keeping on adding 8 to the third octet, 0, 8, 16, and likewise I'll get till this 248. Once I get to 248, my this uh, third octet is full. I'll push this value to the second octet. I'll, re I'll get to this value 10.1.0.0. And subsequently, what's happening? The second octet is being changed from 0, 1, 2. So, see this, my block size of 1 is coming into picture now. Right, and that is why it's important for you to remember and write this block size so that you don't put these changes in a uh, wrong way. Right, you don't have to write uh, add eight in the second octet. Right, you have to write uh, add eight in the third octet only. 
I'm only adding the block size. So when you compare this with block size, you'll always remember that I'm doing wrong when I'm doing uh, when I'm adding eight to the second octet. In any case, I cannot be adding eight to the second octet. My block size is not there, right? So obviously, I'll get to a point where I'll get this ten dot two five five, right? Uh, also, because I'm getting ten dot zero, ten dot one, ten dot two. Also, I'm getting. So I'll get to the point where I'll get ultimately. 10.255.0.0 also. I'll, I'll keep on adding 8 to it, right? So, what will I get? 10. Finally, get to a point where I'll get 10.255.248. Uh, this is the last value that I'll, I'll be able to generate in terms of subnet addresses, right? So, these are the total subnets that I have, right? This is how my subnets will be generated. Once I have the subnets, right, my next part will be what? To find some kind of uh, you know uh, valid host range and broadcast range for any of the networks now all these are valid networks stand.0.0.0 slash 7 uh, slash in our case 21 is a valid network right 10.0.8.0 is also a valid network all these are valid networks so i'll find a uh, block size for any of these networks so i'll find the block size in this particular block now uh, not block size rather i'll find the valid host addresses address range and broadcast range okay. valid host range And for which network I'll I'll choose many of my network that I suppose now this twenty four dot sixteen dot zero. This will also be one of the subnet addresses. If you if you see the pattern from here, obviously uh, second octet zero one two three four. So twenty four will definitely come into picture, right? So and also uh, third octet is the multiplication table of eight. So sixteen will also come. So this is one of the valid network addresses. Right, so I want to write the valid host address now. So I'll add one to it. Now remember, whenever I'll add one, I'll always add one to the last one. This is my first valid host. This is my first valid host. And uh, so this will keep on moving till 10.24.16.2.3.4.5.6.7.8.9.10.11.12.13.14.15.16.17.18.19.20.21.22.23.24.25.26.27.28.29.30.31.32.33.34.35.36.37.38.39.40.41.42.43.44.45.46.47.48.
from 10.24.24.0 if I subtract 1, I'll get 10.24.23.255 from the broadcast address. Stress for this network for which network 10.24.16.0, right? And which is the last valid host for this network 10.24.16.0. Subtract those values 10.24.24.0 minus 1 is the broadcast stress, and 10.24.23.255 uh, minus 1 is the last valid host. So, what is my range now? My range is from this value to this value. This is my entire range. Okay, so if I calculate this, this will be uh, equivalent to this 2046 addresses that I have. Okay, and if I calculate how many submits I have, I'll have 8192 submits or 2 raised to 13. Alright, I can obviously calculate that. I can verify that. I'll tell you how to do that. So, how many how many uh, networks I have? Two raised by thirteen, right? So, if I see, right, how many numbers do I have here? Zero point two in the second octet. I'm trying to calculate if I have the total number of networks as eight zero nine two or not, or possibly two raised by thirteen or not. So I'll have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 5, 5 in the second octet. So how many values I have in the second octet? I have 256 values here, right? And for each of the values, for, for this value, 0, zero uh, for the for this, this this section, that much only, right? How many values would be generated? 0, 8, 16, 24. How many values will be generated? It will be 256 divided by 8, right? Because I have the multiplication table of 8 now, right? So I'll have... I'll have 32 values here, right? 32 values will be for 1, 32 values will be for 2, and for 256 times this is there. So 256 multiplied by 32. 256 is how much? 2 raised to 1, 8, and 32 is how much? 2 raised to 1, I suppose 5, right? So when I have these values, when faces are same, right, and when the powers are different, so what, how do I calculate it? Is equal to 2 raised to power 8 plus 5. So what is 8 plus 5? I suppose it is 13, right? So 2 raised to power 13 is the total number of metals that I get here, right? Similarly, if I want to calculate the number of posts here, so calculate it. If you see the fourth octet, I am getting from 0 till 255 here, and again I am getting from 0 till 255, and again to 0 to 255, right? So I have 256, right, for every block here. So uh, I am calculating this valid host range, as the total host that I have. This will be 246, 2046, right? So it is 256 multiplied by how many times 256 is being repeated? Right, so it is for repeating for 16, 17, 18, 19 till 24. So I am repeating it 8 times, right? Because the blocks are 256 multiplied by 8. 256 is how much again? 2 raised to power 8 multiplied by, right? 8 is how much? 2 raised to power 3, isn't it? So again, the bases are same and the powers are different. So I will add these. So it is equal to 2 raised to power, I will write it here, 2 raised to power 8 plus right 8 plus 3 is equal to 2 raised to power 11 now I have 2 raised to power 11 and I have to subtract these values which I uh, which I have included in the calculation which is 0 which is again not my valid value this is the subnet address that I have and also 255 which I included in my calculation this is broadcast as I cannot use this so valid host is still 254 only so 2 raised to power 11 minus 2 so these are the two values which we keep on always uh, you know subtracting from the final calculation so I, give, I get this 2 raised to 11 minus 2. So this way you can uh, verify what you have uh, calculated, right? And also remember this, uh, this will also uh, give uh, clarity of uh, a lot of wrong things that a lot of people see because uh, a lot of people will say that this 
this address that I am trying to put it 10.24.16.25 this is a broadcast address or this is a broadcast address which is not true there is only bro one broadcast address here for this particular network which is 10.24.23.255 that is why I am only subtracting what two values right one value is this one 16.0 another is 23.255 rest of the values are all valid so I have 10.24.17.0 as a valid network a valid uh, host address 10.24.18.0 is a valid net, uh, host address, right? So that's about it. So don't get into that mistake wherein you calculate a lot of broadcast address for a network. A network will have only one broadcast address. I think this is clear now. The next section uh, will be the final section for the subnetting questions. Again, we'll keep on repeating the stuff. There's a little bit of minute differences in how the how you calculate this for different sections of uh, subnet address. Like I make it a point that I solve uh, all the questions there right uh, which are there now next uh, section we'll, we're going to solve this question for uh, 10 uh, for, for, the, for the values uh, for, I mean we'll do we'll do this question for uh, a class networks with subnet mask from slash 25 till you know I'll go until the maximum that I can get now remember the maximum subnet mask in a valid way which I can use is slash 30 I cannot be using more than this Okay. That's the maximum that I can get. So, so this last section will be for this. This is a final question, and uh, you can keep on practicing rest of the things by your own self. Uh, so, if you have any questions, you can ask me. So, we'll move on to the next section. Uh, uh, we are going to solve these questions for uh, now from. Slash five till slash third, and this will be for all A class networks, right? This will so ten dot zero dot zero dot zero, right? So uh, I'll have the default as slash eight, right? So So, I have this as a subnet mask 10.0.0.0 slash 8, which is, these are the defaults that I have written, right? So, once I have written these defaults, I will write this in binary also. In, in binary, 8 ones and 24 zeros. So, this is how it is written. And if I move to the question now, for example, if I say what is my question, so it will be somewhere around 10.0.0.0. I'll, I'll take any value from 25 to 30. So I'll take a value slash 27. Okay. So that might be the question. Okay. So I'll have We are clear till this point, right? So we move on to the first question that we have. The first question is number of networks that we have. What is my M now? Which is the number of ones that we have borrowed. We have uh, eight number of ones originally, and in this question we have twenty-seven number of ones. So we have borrowed how many number of ones? Eight plus 8 plus 3 so 8 plus 8 plus 3 is 19 so I'll have 2 raised to 5 is my number of networks that I'll have again I'll not calculate this number I get to this point where I'll see number of post per subnet post per network or host per subnet which is equal to n minus n is equal to n minus 
Zero number of remaining zero. How many zeros do remain with me? Five only, right? Minus two. So I have thirty-two minus two. So I'll come to the you know bigger portion that I want to calculate now, which is trying to calculate uh, you know the block size and the host that we have, uh, the networks that we have, right? So I'll have uh, this subnet address you now. So calculate the subnet address. We calculate block sizes, right? Interesting object. Now, in this case, we'll have three interesting objects, right? I'll mark those objects now. So these are my interesting objects. So this is all these are interesting objects. Right? I'll have three objects, so I'll have three block sizes because my objects are changing from zero to this. Again, all zeros to all ones, and all zeros to three ones, and this, right? So all these three objects are interesting objects. So I'll have three block sizes now. Okay. So uh, I'll calculate it as. 256 minus. So first of all, I'll calculate the second of it. So it will 256. Block size for second of it. Similarly, I'll have in one is the block size for third of it. When I have more than you know one of it, I have uh, uh, more than uh, three block sizes. What do I do? I start calculating my subnet addresses by adding the rightmost octet or the largest uh, block size that we have available. So largest block size that we have available is 32, and the rightmost octet is fourth octet. So I'll use this block size first. So I'll Take this case at the stand dot zero zero zero, right? Which is again the subnet. This is also a valid subnet. Now remember this. Okay, ten dot zero 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 is a valid subnet for slash eight also, even for slash twenty seven also. So I'll add this thirty two block size of fourth octet to the fourth octet now. I'll keep on adding this thirty two here, right? And uh, when I add again 32 to it, obviously, consequently, uh, ultimately, I'll get two points where I'll get this 10 dots. Once I again add 32 to it, if I add, I get, I'll get the maximum value in fourth octet, so that will push this value to third octet. So I'll get this 10 dot right. I'll continue to add 32 to it. So I'll get this when the fourth octet only. And again, zero dot one dot sixty-four. I'll get ten dot zero dot uh, you know one dot two twenty-four. I'll add thirty-two to it again. The value will spill out right because. My octet is full, fourth octet is full, so I'll, I'll ultimately get this value again 10.0 now. Okay, and I'll continue to add this 30. So obviously, see if you see here, I'm adding 32 here 0, 32, 64, again 96, and I'll finally get this 22, 24. Again, 32 is added, so it's, it, it uh, pushes this value to third octet. So 10.1.0. So similarly, I'll get 10.2.0. So I'll get 10.3.0.4.0. Finally, I'll get one value, right? It is 10.255.224. I'll never get 250. In this case, I'll never get 255 in the third of fourth octet, right? Because fourth octet only 32 is being added. So I'll maximum value I'll get is 224. 
right in the third octet i can still get this 0 1 2 3 4 so i'll get all the values here right so i if i add my 32 to this right add 32 at this point what will i have so like 32 at this uh, if i add 32 to 224 i'll get 256 here so my uh, octet is already full right so i'll write write 0 over here and uh, I push this value to third octet. Third octet is already 255. If I add one more to it, again it will push this value further to the second octet because this octet is full. So I'll write zero over here in the third octet also, and one over in the second octet. So I'll get this value. If I add 32 to this, I'll get 10 dot 1 dot 0 dot 0. So finally, after this much iterations, after this much repetitions, I'll get 10 dot 1 dot 0 dot 0. See this. The second octet is being changing from 0 finally to 1, right? So I'll still add 32 to it now. So I'll get what is 1 dot 0 dot 32. I'll add 32 to it, right? So basically, I'll get to a point where I'll get 10 dot 1 4. I'll again add 32 to it. 1.0 uh, and I'll get this again 32 more and one dot okay so so similarly I'll, I'll get two points where I'll finally get 10.1.254 right since I am getting this 10.1.0, so after after some time I'll get 10.1.0. So 10.1.1.0. So similarly I'll get to a point where I'll finally get 10.1.255.24 also, right? When I add again 32 to it, I'll get the same point, right? I'll get to the same section there where I'll have to change this to the second octet also will keep changing, right? So let me see this. So I'll get to this till this point where I'll again change the second octet because my third octet is getting filled, right? And so I'll have 10.0.0.0, 10.1.0.0 will finally get 10.2.0.0 will also get in, right? So ultimately the last thing that will get is 10.255 also, right? And uh, in third octet I'm obviously getting 255 every time I'm ending up here. So, and the last value I'm getting here is 220. So, this is the last, you know, last of the subnets that I'll be able to calculate. So, if you see how many subnets do I have total here, right? So, if you check out here, the total subnets that I'll have is this one, right? It will be 2 raised to power 19. Should be 2 raised for 19. So let's calculate how, and uh, then finally I get to the next uh, section, which is easier one. Okay, so I have the uh, division of 32 over here, right? 0, 32, 64, because my block size is 32 here. So I'll go from 0 till 256 maximum value, which is there. So uh, how many uh, addresses will be generated? How many subnet addresses will be generated for this particular block, for this smaller block, right? This will be 256 divided by 32, right? Which will be 8, right? So I'll get 8 addresses here. So it will be inside. I'm getting 8 addresses here, right? And how many addresses I'm getting? Uh, how, how many, uh, you know, uh, can say numbers I'm getting in the third octet now. I'm getting from 0, I'm getting 1, 2, I'm getting 3 till 255. So I'm getting 256 values here, right? I'm getting 256 values in the third octet. And obviously if I see the second octet, right, I'm again getting this 0, then again I'm getting to 1, then getting to 2, 3, and till 255, right? So I'm getting 8 and last is 256 also. So if I convert this back, right, so I have uh, 8 is how much? 8 is 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 256 is 2 raised to power again 8 and again I'll multiply this 
in by 2 raised to 8 because I have to multiply it by 2 places. So since the bases are equal, right? So I'll add it as 2 raised to 3 plus 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 3, 19. So these are the total number of networks that I've got. So this is how you will evaluate and calculate and uh, verify what you have got. And I move on to the last section which is pretty easy because there will be small calculations as compared to what we have done till now. So which is right so I'm trying to find the value. So I'll get, I want this for um, any of the network, any of the networks that I have written over here. So I'll, I'll, I'll take one network here. I'll, I'll want to do it for, for example, I want it to do it for 10.1.0.0, .0, right? So my network that I have now is 10.1.0.0. So for this network 10.1.0.0 slash 27 obviously because uh, why I'm choosing this is because I'm ultimately starting to do this uh, my, my starting point was slash 27 as a value right for a class network which is 10.1.0.0 so what is my next network immediate next network which I want to write here right so my immediate the last network that I have here right? Uh, so uh, uh, immediate next network is 10.1.0.32 because I obtained the network by getting uh, you know adding the 32 value because that's my block size right so what is the first network that uh, what is the first host that I'll get here so I'll add one to it whenever I'll add one to it remember the rule that I'll add right hand side right so I'll keep on adding till I reach a certain point where I get to the last value of this network right so when I till till I don't reach the next network what is my next network 10.1.0.32 right so I'll finally get to this value obviously So, in this particular network 10.1.0.0 slash 27, I'll have value 10.1.0.1, 0 0.2, and this will get on till where, right? This will get on till 10.1.0.31, which is my last address, obviously, because 32 is my next network, so 31 becomes my broadcast. And my last network will be, I just fluttered it a little bit, so I want to write it in a better way. address and uh, get on till maximum value of 10. Next network, so I subtract 1 from it, 10.1. And if I subtract one more from it, 10.1.0, that becomes my last address. And, uh, this one is my first address. First till last. 
So the range for this network is 10.1.0.1 till 10.1.0.30. 31 is my broadcast range, 10.1.0.31. Right, so I have 30 hosts per subnet, so these are 30 hosts, and every subnet we can have these kind of 30 hosts. I think that uh, that finishes my uh, subnetting part uh, for all the, you can say, <coughs> maximum parts that we can do, right? So for your own practice, I would recommend you to do one question for each of the, you know, sections that we did for A class subnetting. Right, so you do one question from uh, slash and just write this here. So you you can carry on doing these questions. There are three sections now. I have slash eight till slash sixteen. Another section is from slash seventeen till slash twenty four. Right, and the last section is from slash 20. I have done each one of the each questions here, right? Because they are a little bit different from each other. So you'll do three questions: one for this section, one for this section, and one for this section. So you can do this, uh, you know, this submitting questions for 10.0.0.0. And uh, because yesterday we did this uh, B class, so we're doing A class today purely, right? So we have uh, you'll do uh, this question 10.0.0.0 slash. Uh, you can do for slash 14 one question right this this belongs to the first uh, category here all right for the second category we will do you will do uh, 10.0.0.0 slash uh, we'll do it for slash 22 or 23 whatever it is there and for the last category do it for slash 27 okay so these are your practice questions and you can do it and we are done with the subnetting part um, Okay, one more thing I uh, I would uh, like to add over here is that uh, subnetting in subnetting what, what was the ultimate objective we had? We wanted to save IP addresses, right? We didn't want to use bigger networks when we had uh, less number of hosts which are required in our network, right? So I can see I can I can split my networks into very small networks also, sub networks also, and then use them, right? So this is one of the advantage. Another advantage that we have for subnetting is I told you at the beginning. I'll repeat that also once again uh, during some formal session also. So the second thing that we have is broadcast control, right? So when I say broadcast control, okay. I mean to say that my broadcast should not travel across a large number of hosts, right? If you if you see here, right? So if you see the bigger network here, I'll draw this network and tell tell you how this broadcast control happens, right? So I have this bigger network, right? When I have not submitted, for example, I have this slash eight here, right? This network has how many hosts? Possibly, I'll say two raised to the twenty four minus two, right? And if I split it into smaller networks, for example, any network, like say, uh, I can uh, obviously subnet it using slash 27 or slash 28 also, right? If I'm talking about A-class networks, right? So how many uh, hosts will this have, right? This will have, uh, I'll do it without calculation. This will have how many hosts? This will have around uh, 30 hosts, right? So if I talk about this broadcast address that, that that this network will have, this network will also have a broadcast address. This network will also have a broadcast address. But this network has how many hosts? 2 raised to 24 minus 2. This network has how many hosts? This has 30 hosts, right? So this broadcast address here, the broadcast address for this network, when I give some packet to this broadcast address, this will broadcast to how many addresses? 2 raised to 24 minus 2 addresses. So broadcast is traveling across to a large number of devices, right? When I am talking about the broadcast in this network, if I say what is the broad, I am saying I am giving some packet to the broadcast address of this network. Broadcast is traveling only till 30 computers because this is the total, you know, size of the network that I have. So obviously I am I am squeezing that broadcast into a smaller network, thereby controlling the broadcast in the network, right? So this is one ultimate objective of subnetting, apart from a conservation of IP addresses. So I'll get to that again while I do start doing the routing part because the route, when I do routing, obviously I'm doing something with the broadcast also. Right, so uh, that's about it. So if you have any questions regarding this, you can keep on asking. Okay.